Hey everyone, welcome back to here. So we're going to go ahead and get started today. I do want to look at the carpenter. I forgot to do that last episode. See what it takes to get the new grappling hook. So we have the improved grappling hook recipe right here. It's going to take a shroud core, shroud liquid, shroud, shroud spores, and a regular grappling hook. So we can unequip that. So let's go ahead and get some of this together. We should be able to go ahead and make this. It requires less stamina. can be activated at larger ranges. So I'm assuming we're going to need that probably for some of the future towers and different areas to get into them. So let's go ahead and grab our cores and everything that we need. So we do have a good supply of cores and different materials here. So we should be in great shape as far as that goes. I really haven't had to do much gathering lately just because we keep stockpiling so much. And then we're going to go do some quests here in just a second. So let me get some more of this stuff together. I think we're going to have to unequip our grappling hook. Let me grab that. I'm not really sure how to unequip it. Or do I have to build another one? Oh, space to unequip. Okay. Now that's in the backpack. I think we have everything we need. We might have forgotten to grab one item. No, we're good to go. So shroud core, shroud liquid, shroud spores, grappling hook. And then we'll space to craft that. Root grappling hook. Quest completed. The alchemist rumors. So it seems like I'm doing the right thing by getting some of these smaller quests knocked out the way. Where is my grappling hook? There it is. Let's go ahead and equip it. They're doing pretty good on items. We have our two rings. Yeah, I do have a bunch of other rings, including legendary rings. So we're actually doing really good on legendary loot. Let me see if I can find what box I have it in. Organize this. So you can see here we have three legendary rings. They're all life leech. We do have the legendary wailing blade. A legendary. Miss. I have more legendaries than this. I just need to organize some more. Uh, the frozen core wand which we just found that does 17 damage it's not been upgraded at all so that's actually seems like a pretty nice weapon i bet if we enhanced it too it would have a lot more stats on it it's the one that has all the mana regen and stuff built into it but we'll get into magic later on i think or let me see does this one allow us to do unlimited casting though Put that on six let's step outside and test this really quick now on the wands they do have really close range so if you're not hitting your target just get closer because they do a lock on an auto that auto fire but they'll lock on and fire like a bow so they won't miss. Yeah, so this one seems to be one of the ones with unlimited ammo. So if we come over here like this wolf. Now wolves don't like fire damage. <laughs> so they just resisted that because anything with fur should be resistant to cold. That makes perfect sense to me. And then let's go see and look in here. You can see that blue bar below my hit points. That's actually our mana bar. Uh, what do you want? You didn't have this a minute ago. I'm listening. Oh, animal fur that we required for, I guess. So she's going to share a new location with us for her hunting grounds. Let me see where this is at. Okay, so this is way out here too. Test of skill. VUCA and wildlife, a test of skill. So I guess I have to kill some VUCAs out here. I think the VUCAs are the Ewok looking bear guys. So we can keep this wand on us. It might come in handy if we need to do some more range attacking. And maybe we'll need magic for one of the towers. And you can see it looks pretty cool too. And then we'll go talk to the alchemist. Or not the alchemist, the blacksmith. So if you want to enhance your equipment, you just go to the enhance equipment tab. And you can see our ornate wood bow is maxed out, our bronze sword is maxed out, and then we have the frozen core wand here, so if we upgrade this one, it's going to give us plus 3 fire magic protection, plus 3 ice magic protection. On hit, leech 5% damage is mana, and we get that twice, and it should power it up a lot, so let's go ahead and grab our runes, because I think I have like a thousand runes or something, and I have plenty of gear we can break down if we need more. Say so we have 945 runes at the moment, and we'll go ahead and upgrade this guy, you just press space bar, and it should unlock those attributes, it'll also increase its damage, so we're at 19, 20... 22, 23, and then this final rune, it's going to cost us 30 runes out of the 855 we have left. And it take us up to 25 damage on this frozen core wand, so it's pretty strong. I'd like, I'd prefer to use a fire wand, but I haven't found a legendary one yet, and I'm, I'm not going to lie, I'm trying to just full equip in legendary gear. And with that, let's go ahead and store everything back, and then we'll head out across the map, teleport back to our other camp that we set up. And I think, based on the way this altar reads, so you strengthen the flame. So I want to say these altar activation capacities, I want to say that's the amount of the flame altars we can build. So I think we could actually build six of these now, just to teleport to and around the map. And they're really cheap to build, and you don't need a construction hammer or anything, so it's a good way to fast travel. Another the thing I wanted to build I keep forgetting about doing is I wanted to build a better torch so that we can use ours to fight with if we need to since it's so effective against bees. So let's see torches. I forget who lets us build a better one. I must wonder if it's the uh, hunter. Yeah survival right here. We have the resin torch and the wax torch. So let's see this one's a level two it does 11 damage. This one's a level three does 12 damage. So this would be the better one. So we need resin, wax, corn cloth, and twigs. Put those materials together. Let's go ahead and get her to build that for us. So we have a new torch now. Let's replace our old torch with it. Let's see what it looks like. So that's our new torch. And we'll just d d demolish our old one by right-clicking, deleting it. And then we store everything back up, swap back to our other tools, make sure you repair everything, and then we'll warp across the map. If anybody's wondering to upgrade the fire again, we're going to need goo, which I haven't found yet. Mycelium. Indigo plant, which we have found the indigo plant. Amber. Amber, I want to say, is in the desert. Same thing with copper ore. And then we have the Fell Wisp Wyvern Head. So I, I'm assuming that's going to be the desert or somewhere around there. So definitely a new enemy that we get to face. Probably going to be pretty strong since we get a trophy head for it. And like I said, we'll press M on our map. I just loaded the game, so all these 
yellow markers are back. And like I said, I want to come over here. Let's go work on getting to the Queen's Tomb and the Alchemist's Mortar. Unless the air is too high, then we'll start going on to the other side. So we'll teleport over here to home level one. Alright guys, so we're back over here. If anybody didn't know, if you're on the road, you get a stamina boost while you're running. So if you can get to the road, just run along it and it should give you a little boost. You'll see it in the top left below your rested. And this should help improve your getting around the map. And let's see, we have a respawn point right here. So we're probably going to hit the Queen's Chambers first. Let's go ahead and loot everything around this. And this is going to take us back over to where we fought the first matron that we found and completed the alchemist quest looks like we have a mine or a pit right here let's go ahead and check it out watch out for the packs of level seven wolves in case you're lower level than me so we're currently level nine or ten so <laughs> not much threat to us let's see it looks like just another flint mine but it does have loot in it see nothing valuable here so far and i'm not going to try to mine this one out maybe we'll do that later i did try mining one out i didn't find anything at the bottom of it Let's look over here. This could be a cave, maybe. Right, nope, not a cave. Just got my hopes up for nothing. Now, remember from the last episode, if you find any random graves laying around the map, because I've found a few. I never dug in them until I dug on the one that's, I think, on top of this mountain. We did find the legendary chest there. So right here in front of us, that is the Alchemist Tower. Don't really know why it's called the tower. I guess because of the, the mounds of rock. So we're going to go around this. I don't really feel like fighting all the way back through it. I mean, we could check and see if the matron's alive again. See if she respawned. That actually could help us out. There's a cave below it. Is this what is this cave about? I didn't see this last time we came here. Is it just like a small entrance. Oh yeah, so she is back up here. So we might kill her really quick, just so we could. We wanted to. We can build her trophy. Oh, so it's like a hidden passage to get back inside. <laughs> So let me kill her really fast, then we'll move on. Looks like all the loots respawned here, too. Alright, so we're test I wanted to test the wand against her. It does really good damage. I just don't know about getting that close. But it's super effective. Oops, she hit us with poison damage. That hurt pretty bad. Alright, so we repaired our equipment. Let's go ahead and bounce out of here and head to the next area. She did drop us 200 experience and some more loot. Some of the same things we can break down to get some more runes if we need to. And I want to say the next place we're headed is just down the street here. And then we're probably going to end up in the shroud. It says the alchemist mortar is underground somewhere. Alright, so we're still moving down the road. It looks like we can keep going forward. There's another tower that way. Maybe we can reach that and get that out the way. From there, there is this big tomb looking... Maybe what used to be a bridge. Let's go ahead and take a look up here and see what this is about. I think this is going to be the Queen's Tomb. Mist Berry Catacombs. We have a respawn point right here. Let's go ahead and stand next to it for a second. And since it's getting dark, it's a great time to clear the catacombs because we'll be in the darkness anyways. Glad we have a new torch too. So I don't see any grapple points out here on the outside. Let's go ahead and move inside. Lockpick is needed. Looks like we have a plaque right here on the left. New lore, nobles, and history. Opening Pike Meads Catacombs. So it looks like there's two hidden, one above, one below. So this is giving us directions to different tombs inside of here. So we might have to go back and review that in a minute. This one we can also read. I don't it looks like it's the same one though. Lots of vases and stuff. You can break these down usually and get some kind of potions every now and then. So let's go get our torch out and we'll take a look around. Alright, so we're above some shroud. Uh, let's see, we're already getting shot at by that guy. Let me see, I wonder if we, can we hit him with our wand? Preferably without falling down. <laughs> of course he runs at us. Let's go ahead and circle up here then and take him on. Okay, where is he? Why is he running that way? Is he scared of us? Oh. Of course somebody wants to sneak up behind us. But I have another archer. And these guys are all level 7 so far. No big deal. Continue our investigation. Let's take a look from this side. Is that a grapple point? It looks almost like a grapple point. Maybe we can hit it from the bridge. So there should be something above us and something below us. There's a door at the end right here. It needs four buttons to be pressed. Let's see, we have one of those Shroud Core floating magic guys across the way. So there's definitely going to be some good fighting in here. Let's see. Okay, so there's a grapple point here. It gets across to that side. Let's finish exploring over here. Keep our eye out for buttons on walls, pillars. Might have to shoot some with a bow. So make sure you have your bow with you and some arrows. Let's see, we've got a casket right here we can loot. There's some hill channel. Let's see, it looks like a deep pit. <laughs> A locked door back here with some enemies behind it. Mm -hmm. 
three different directions to go. This might take a minute to clear a bit longer than I thought. So we can go down here. So do we clear the top first, I guess? I feel like there's a, let's see, it says location is above us. I thought that was a grapple point there, but it's not. Guess we have to grapple across. See so a path down, path up. Is there anything next to this door that we need to do really quick? Then let's go ahead and take these stairs. I think we're going to have to fight that floating guy up here. Or no, maybe he's a level above. It looks like another oh, no, door we can use a lockpick on. Might get a full. This might be a full episode just exploring the Queen's Tomb. <laughs> maybe the Alchemist Mortar can get be gotten from here too. I don't know. Let's see what we have inside of this room. We get save my torch. We're wearing it out for no reason. Let's see, we can climb up there. Yeah, this vault looks massive. <laughs> oh man, another grapple point, I guess, to get us above the shroud if we need to rest for a second. Path across. We can grapple across, and then there's a button over here, so it's going to do so. It looks like the new grapple uses a lot less stamina. Oh, what? I thought we hit a trap for a second. <laughs> so that's activated. Let's glance around up here, see if there's anything else. There is a door here. Let's get our axe out. Break that down. I hope there's like a repair spot in here somewhere so I can repair my torch at some point. Let's see, we have another door. Some hill channel in this chest here. Bunch of stuff to break down. Go ahead and break that open. Let's see what we have back here. So far, it's another ledge. Way to drop back down to the room we just came out of. I don't see anything above us or around us. They did say stuff's hidden, so I'm trying to make sure I keep an eye out for any doors. Bring our torch over here. I don't know if we touch those with the torch and they'll explode or not, so let's uh, not find out. It's like a sarcophagi to loot here. Shroud survival flask. And I guess we can head back down. Let's see, we'll go ahead and just drop down this ledge here. Get maybe some more loot on this side. Oop, nothing there. Make our way down. We're now enshrouded, so we need to be careful and quick. So we have a door in front of us. Another lockpick needed for it. And this, I think, brings us back into the main chamber where we first entered at. Is it anyway in front of us? We got two of these flying guys. Let's uh, get some distance. See if our magic wand will work better on these, maybe. Oh man, they're gonna tear us apart. <laughs> I didn't want to aggro two of those guys. I don't like fighting those guys. They're such a pain. Let me see, how about y'all float this way so I can hide behind the wall a little bit? Uh, they're out of range. Let's try our bow. Ah! 
Right, that guy's down. Let's grab this other one. Since it's just one, we'll try that. We'll try to see how effective the magic is on. Just again. All right, and he's down now. I think this is gonna take us back in that same room we just came from. So let's take a look around. We are definitely aggroing stuff. Oh man, I down like that. Yeah, that circle. Do what we can find down here. There's a body and some skulls here, so we can pick up those for some bones. I'm hoping nothing in here is like crazily hidden. Because you can dig out some of this stuff. This small passage there. It's the door we locked pick. You see, it looks like a chest across the path here. I don't see a grapple point, so maybe we're gonna have to try to jump it. One arrow with nice bolts inside of it. I was trying to look in that gap up there, but we fell down. I don't think there's anything in it. So let's go back through this other door. We're gonna explore down here later in another minute. And I want to double check, make sure these stairs take us back up. Plus, we need to reset our timer. So here's where we came into the building so far. Yeah, it looks like this is going to be the end of it. <laughs> be the whole episode is just exploring this one tomb. Oh, where did he come from? Let's go and pop a grape since I'm not fighting very well at the moment. Okay, we have a locked door here with a chest behind it. I believe, if I remember right, we came yeah we came down these stairs. Is there going to be another button in here we can hit to open that door? Or are we going to have to hit buttons across the map and then run back and forth? The grapple point above us. I'm not really seeing anything else down here. Except for that one door that I'm not sure how to get into. Some, something must be in the graphics because we keep getting aggro. Oh, I didn't even notice the trap. <laughs> Too busy looking around for doors. Okay, so here's the chest behind that door. Maybe we can open it from this side so we don't have to run back across. Oh, yeah, it opened since we came in here. It looks like this side is cleared. I'm going to double check up here one time. Let's go ahead and drop back down to the shroud. We're going to try to clear this part of it out. Or just on the front of this chamber you don't again you do not want to touch any of this red it will cause your time to, to hastily run out I am glad we have seven minutes now it looks like there's a button right here somewhere in front of us again watch out for the small little pieces of it too because that also will hurt you yep this one wants us to use a bow I think that's gonna open the door that's above us place is huge. There's so many different ways to go. So we have a grapple point above. Let's go ahead and clear this main chamber first and then we'll make our way inside. So we have another staircase right here. And we have a door. We need a lockpick to use on it. Takes us back to that same room we still need to explore.
what is back here? This takes us back into this big chamber. Beetle ambush. And this is the stairs again where we fought those two guy floating guys. So we don't need to go back in there. Let's head backwards over here and back up these other stairs. See where they lead. Hopefully back up to the big door that's locked. Yep. So we have two out of the four buttons. But let's make sure our time's recharged and we'll go back in here. Tons of red shroud all around us. Let's see beetles popping. Right, I wonder if we can... Can we break this? So we killed that beetle nest. Let me see, that might be a button or something across the way. So we'll have to go back over there. There's, what, two grapple points? Yeah. So we'll have to head back down and around in a minute if this doesn't take us to it. See, so we have a chest on the left. Let's go ahead and go that way. Ice bolt charges. Like a ledge above us. No idea how, how we're supposed to get up there unless we need to, like, some kind of triple fancy jump. And we can attempt to make this climb. Let's go ahead and ease down here. We'll try to jump there and grab it. I missed. Oh my god. Yeah, you saw how bad that hurt. Now we have to rush back out here. <laughs> Let's head down and go to those grapple points since I missed that climb. Well, I think that'll get us to where the climb will take us. Let's see. So here's one of the grapple points here. Jump across because I think I saw another one right above us, right? Yeah. And then right here we have a chest. Let's go ahead and open it. Shepherd's staff. We'll grapple across to this side. Let's see, explosive barrel. We'll go ahead and hit that just to say we did. Where did you come from? Not really sure where that guy came from unless he fell from the upper ledge. Only I can think of. See that explosive barrel, it did open a path. I think they have enough hidden things here. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and take a look down this path really quick. Right, that brought us out of the shroud back into that locked room. Two enemies up here. See a bunch of things we can break down. I don't see anything over here. But like I said, they could easily hide doors behind all this shroud and growth of mycelium. Let's go ahead and press our button to unlock the door behind us. So that's most of the buttons. Let's see about making our way across this. Maybe there's some hidden loot. Or not. <laughs> Maybe there's nothing here. I don't know. Unless we're supposed to dig through that. Oh, it's cracking, but it's not breaking, so I think we're good on this side. If anybody knows better, just drop it in the comments. I'll come back and check it out. Let's head back outside. I think we need to head up and grapple now. Is 
So we went across here, right? So we need to go to... Or did I go through there and drop down? Let me look around. I like the way the sunlight comes in here. Because <laughs> I, I get tired of walking around in the dark all the time. Alright, let me grapple across here again and see if there's a button on that side. The crypt open with some spells and a bandage in it, which is good. We've been using our bandages. I actually meant to make some before I came back out. It's a chest up here in this little corner. Mana potion for our magic users. It's another ledge. Oh, there's a button right there that requires you to shoot it with an arrow, so we'll stand right here and do so. And now the main chamber door is open, so let's just jump down there. Let's see what we can find inside of here. Looks like the main sarcophagi. Sarcophagus, I'm not really... <laughs> I think guy is plural, right? Okay, so it looks like just pure death all around this on the bottom. I don't think we need to go down there. And we'll open this and see what happens. Pike Mead's Bulwark. It looks like a shield, so 7 block, 20 parry, 110 max durability plus 25 health. Even in death, the queen unites those who seek protection behind her shield. It's going to take it. And let's compare it to our current shield. We're probably going to equip it. So our current shield is 3 block, 13 parry. Oh yeah, this is way better, so <laughs> let's go ahead and equip it. Maybe it looks cool. Let's get our shield out now. Yeah, so now, now we look like we're getting somewhere. I've been waiting to get some new fancy melee fighting gear. I was hoping our legendary sword would glow. If we had the other sword, I think it glows. The other legendary one that we found. That was the blacksmith's daughter. And then let's head out of here. I like just see if we can't still grab that alchemist one the video might be a little bit long to do so but we're right here so it'd be nice to go ahead and grab it i mean worst case we could probably just put down an altar a flame altar and just teleport back if we needed to so that should be the queen's quest is cleared now we have the alchemist mortar right here we can set a waypoint for it and you can see we're close to all these other items too so test a skill carpentry camp to get the stuff of the blacksmith cave entrance <laughs> uh, so much stuff to do over here but let's go ahead and head down here and see if this one's really quick so if you walk down the road you from the tomb that we just left you will find a bunch of some of these guys <laughs> I want to see how the cold works against them, since it wasn't very effective against wolves. Yeah, it didn't work very well against them, they resist it. So maybe we'll take a look when we get back, see if we don't have at least an epic one that does fire damage. Because it will it will make fighting them a lot, lot easier. So we, so we have a building right here on the right. We're still 105 meters away from this. Right, let's go ahead and check this little building out. That's why I like using the roads, so we can try not to miss anything. Oh, they have a scavenger inside. These enemies are level 9 and getting stronger, so be ready for that. I don't see anything on his top of his little tower, but you could sleep here if you needed to. You can rest by this fire, do some cooking if you wanted to get your hit points up. Head back to the road. It looks like a respawn point right here next to the tower too. Okay, so we're headed down into the shroud again. It looks like it should be over here somewhere unless we need to find a way underground. Location is above us. These guys down here are level 11. So if it's above us, that must be it in that big block building. I'm not sure how to get up there just yet. We have to run around this mountain and find it. So we have an ancient ruin site here. I'm hoping if we go above, it'll increase our time. So we're over here in Lone Thistle. In case anybody's looking for that. So there's tons of enemies in here. explore down here in a minute. I'm trying to find a way up now to see if we can't get out of the shroud, so that's the main concern. So I don't see any grapple points on this side. We might have to climb this tower next to us first. Let me see. We'll keep pushing into here. Like he's gonna come play. Oh, he's level 15. He has full body armor, so watch out. Oops. Guess my block didn't work because I was running. Ow. 
Oh wow, yeah, he, he hurts really bad. <laughs> so we can maybe use our wand against him. But I really don't want to get hit one more time. He might kill us. Let me see if we can't get back in here and find somewhere to go. I don't know if he'll drop down, so oh, there's, of course there's stairs right here. Let me see if we can't get back on this ledge. Make him run around while we hit some bandages up. So yeah, we're gonna get a bandage one time. Oh wow, he tried jumping up here to get to us. <laughs> Let's see, can we can we cheese him right here? Oh, we're breaking the ledge we're standing on. We jump up here, maybe it's a little safer. I don't run away, you guy. You wanted to fight. I didn't say I was gonna fight you fair. And he's down, that's 176 experience for that level 15 guy. I didn't drop us anything special, but man, I hope we don't run into too many of those guys. That that guy was rough. Ate up a lot of our time too. See, let's go ahead and pop that. Wait for it to cool down. We can take a look. We have a graveyard here. So we, we might bust these open and see if there's anything hidden in it. Let's see, there's a door. There's tons of things to look at down here. What level are you? Yeah, we really need to find a way up. <laughs> Getting low on time. Oh, new, do we have new plants here? I haven't seen these before. Let's see what level they level 11. Okay, we're gonna have to just run through these because I really do need to find us a way out of the shroud. We'll come back and kill them because I'm sure they'll give us a new material type. Hopefully, we don't need to kite backwards. Okay, so we're out of the shroud now. Let's make sure we're not being chased. The location. Okay, so we're at the location we need to get needed to get to. I bet fire staff will work great on these guys since they're blue. Oh wait, we need still need to recharge our time. Oh wait, we're in shrouded right here. Where's the? Where's there no shroud? Okay, stand right here. <laughs> Can I hit that guy from over here? Oh yeah, we'll just take him out with the bow from here. Because it's really effective, and it's also being resisted at the same time. Not sure that worked. Alright, level up. We got 6 XP for that. So level 10 now. And that was also an achievement in Steam. New skill point. Let's see what kind of... Oh, ow. Loot this guy, Shroud Sack. And I'll go back down there in a minute and look around and see what else we can find. But for now, let's go ahead and find what we're looking for in this tower. Let's see, so we have a path going down into a basement. We're still in the shroud inside of the building. We're going to explore upstairs first. Cover that says it's empty, but there's always something in it. <laughs> that chest under the stairs. Shroud survival flask. That might come in handy in a minute. Let's see, this got a torch out. It's pretty dark in here. Oh, we can sleep in here. And rest. Looks like we're out of the shroud. Keep making our way up to the top. We have a ladder going up. Stairs going up. Maybe a note right here. Let's see, we have a bathroom, so let's go ahead and hit the note. Never enough, my spirit is broken. They cry for help, new lore. See, oh, there's some health potions here on the table that we can collect. And another shroud survival flask. And I'm sure we can break a bunch of this stuff down to get some pretty good materials and loot. See what's outside. Okay, so there's a flame shrine right or altar right next to us. We can glide over there hopefully and grab that. Let me see. Two more pieces of lore in here and a button to open a door, it looks like. So this was not a good idea. Quest updated the Alchemist Mortar. It says it opens the door to his lab. So I guess we needed to come upstairs first to begin with. See, that says backpack is full. Can't pick up whatever that item is. Let's get rid of some stuff. Yeah, it's just a torch. Let's go ahead and activate this button. Arc 
archer trousers 27 27 might be better than our current pants so let's go make sure we take these back with us let me see we'll stack our berries and drop the extra so those are 27 27 no special stats yeah, our current gear is 26 and 10 but it gives us 23 extra health we could uh, compensate for that using meat so we'll probably swap those out when we get back Go ahead and go up these stairs. There we have a chest up here and another piece of lore. So we have a copper poison arrow. I guess we're getting close to copper somewhere. Let me see, we'll get rid of the salt. We do have plenty of salt floating around. Oh, I could have got rid of the wood. New lore general, Balthazar's aspirations, a glider. You think since we have Balthazar, he would just tell us everything. Okay, so I think we need to head back down now and go up this ladder here. chest fireball and heal charges i do want to break everything here down so i'll do that later but for now let's head to the basement i think that should be where his lab is at so we have one door here with some buttons behind it so did i miss a button somewhere maybe it's in here all right we can collect this so we're gonna need space for that i'm sure uh, we're gonna keep our stone because i'm gonna build a teleport point nearby most likely delete our meat and collect this item so we have special item acquired mortar recipe unlocked greater health potion plus 14 more recipes at the alchemist quest updated the alchemist mortar another chest right here create a health potion and some heals and we'll activate this button check our map i think we're pretty good on this side now a lot of the basic stuff done but the episode is getting kind of long i've shown them at an hour of recording so we'll try to trim that back down to a time for harvest more all this stuff over here still needs to be explored i just don't know if we need to go that way or head towards the desert maybe if we finish up these quests it'll keep pushing us in the direction we need to go so i'm going to loot up and i'm going to take a look around below us and see if there's anything down there if there is, I'll include that in the video. If not, I'll just leave it out. I might find some random chest. If it's not a legendary chest, I'm probably not going to mention it. Right, so this looks like some copper bars on the ground. I was up here uh, still in the lab breaking stuff down. We did find some more arrows. Let me see what I can get rid of for this. I guess we'll get rid of our twigs. And loot that. We have copper bars. So grappling hook, pool anchor, plus nine more at the blacksmith. Copper door at the carpenter. The recipe unlocked chain lightning at the alchemist. So we're getting into some of the more fun magic it would seem. Copper block for construction at the workbench. Copper arrow at the hunter. So yeah, all the, all the new stuff. Right before we leave the arrow, let's grab that spark across the way. And there's a piece of lore here too. Flame shrines, new location shorted, one marker added. We actually got two sparks off of this one. And we're back down here in the shrouded area right below the tower again, where I killed that one plant. There's some lore right here. Let's go and grab it. I said, let's go. New lore page, the shroud elixir and elixir wear. Well, a silver chest in here too with the hatchet. Quest updated, buried curse. So this is the house in between all these plants that are shooting at us. Okay, so in that building below the alchemist tower, there is a prayer of the flame scroll consumable. Plus 20% magic damage plus one minute time in the shroud for 30 minutes. That's pretty good. There's a blue one here too. Experience scroll. Rare times one. The most different experiences gathered described on scroll gain a small amount of experience upon absorption of the content. So we need to grab this. I really don't know what we're going to get rid of. I guess we can get rid of some of our cloth and our hide. Going to take these items. And again, that's when we first came in here in the alchemist tower is right above us. So this is where we fought and finished off that level 15. So this grave right here is shining red. Let's go ahead and dig it up. Searching... Hell Scourge, level 11, Epic Sword. Man, <laughs> I don't know how much stuff I can drop berries and see. We'll get rid of these critter parts. We'll grab this. New lore page, the Shroud Elixir and Elixir World Buried Curse. Quest completed for the Buried Curse, and we have something right here below us. Let's search that. Do we have runes and parts? Like I said, digging up graves, good way to find items. I don't know if there's anything under these because they're not showing up as markers, but you can always dig down a little bit to find out and see if you hit something. I don't think there's going to be anything else here. I think we found pretty good loot. And I wanted to check here. There was something blocking this path. I did climb up the ladder. I didn't see anything up top there. And it's, it's sorry again, guys. I know the videos get a little bit long, but I really want to just complete everything that's part hey. of this series or this one step we just made. I'm going to repair everything for a second i uh, see the alchemist wants to talk to us they also want us to place the mortar down to do the quest but at the same time i'm gonna go in the backpack so i want to test out the new sword so this sword is level 11 our current sword so we can put them side by side so you can see them this one's level 11 26 damage this one's 22 damage fully upgraded and it's level 8 it is legendary though but i think we're about to replace it with this other one 
So we're gonna upgrade it and see how it looks. It's gonna go to the blacksmith. We do have a bunch of runes on us. So let's see what abilities it has. Five blunt damage, five piercing damage, five cutting, five blunt. So of course it's gonna have blunt damage on it. The one thing we don't have points in. I will still try it out though and see how it works out for us. So we'll upgrade it. So 31 damage on it, 32 damage now, level 15. Then let's go ahead and equip it and see what it looks like. Oh yeah, so now we have a blue <laughs> glowing sword. Oh uh, man, that's nice. So maybe we'll put some skill points into our blunt just so we have a well-rounded melee set up. Let's go ahead and talk to him, see what he wants from us. Mortar returned. My mortar brought it with you. You didn't cause you any trouble, right? Please place it in our base for me, will you? Okay, so we have that on one. We will set that in our space. We, I'm really going to get down and organize the base and build it out some more at some point. We'll set it over here. That thing's quite large. <laughs> so we'll put it right there quest completed the alchemist mortar and it looks like the carpenter has something for us let's talk to him really fast right, see we need a table saw so i guess he's gonna send us out for more crafting stuff so you can make one out of saw blades big surprise huh I used to get saw blades from thornhold before well you know hop to it so i guess new location recipe unlocked medium chest plus three more so yeah storage sounds great one new location added so we had the medium magic chest i still haven't even built the small magic chest yet we do have the small chest that we could use for that with shroud cores and then we have a quest update so medium chest requires us to make one medium chest which is going to take nails wood planks and metal sheets and that's going to allow us to make the medium magic chest once we find some goo let's see can we click on this Oh, now we can pick it up. Okay, so that just unlocks more recipes. So we can get Shroud Survival Flask, Mana Potions, tons of ammo for different spell types, 69 damage on that chain lightning. Bone Mill uh, takes copper bars, so we need to find some copper. Have we even built his grind? Yeah, we built his grinding stone. Bug Dust, Glow Dust, Shroud Core. So let's look at the grinding stone. Maybe we have to make goo. Oh, we do have new sets too, so we have new healer sets here. New Mage set. Did we get new sets from him now that we have copper? Nope, we still just have the two sets until we complete some more quests, it looks like. All right, and we're going to call the episode there. I think we got a lot done on this one. Uh, the next one will push out and keep pushing towards the same area, questing for those other small quests, since it's going to be like the table saw for the carpenter. We, I really want to get over here because this is the blacksmith stuff, the Dijwin and its building blocks, and that's taking us towards the capital. And whatever this tiny thing is here, time for harvest. And then we have the hunter skill test right here, so I should have just built something next to the shrine so we could jump over, but we should be able to glide from here into the shroud and then just run over there with no problem. But as always, guys, if you enjoyed this content, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Thank you.